I would also like to thank the awesome organizing committee who put all their efforts and time to make this event happen. I'm anxious to hear all the stories you have to share about my mother. Thank you. I would also like to thank everybody for being here. Uh, as Sophie always taught us, it takes a team to make things happen. And I think a lot of you are here because of the path that we crossed with Sophie. And our hope and dream is that we carry on the torch that uh, Sophie lit up the way for us to follow. And so again, just want to thank everybody for being here as part of that team. Thank you. I met Sophie back in the late 1960s. I was a student, um, a, uh, a life, you know, long uh, resident here, and it was during the times when the schools were being impacted by the the, the awakening of the, the the Mexican people, the Chicanos, and 1968 was, I think, the first time. I met her and uh, the the activists, community activists, because we were having walkouts at our, ju our junior high school at Shepherd, and we were walking out because there was not any teachers of Mexican heritage. There was no celebration of Mexican holidays, and our basically our history was being ignored in the school. I can clearly say this woman is without hands, without any doubt, one of the most dynamic American women of the 20th century. We all hear about Rosa Parks, Eleanor Roosevelt, nothing against those wonderful ladies, but Sophia is someone who was right there with them as far as I'm concerned. She was a big inspiration and mentor to many of us. She was the catalyst uh, for making sure that San Jose State and Santa Clara University um, got students especially Chicano and Chicana students in there because at that time there were limited numbers that were going there. She really fought with the University of Santa Clara to make sure that there were scholarships and positions for Chicanos to attend there and I was one of them. So I'm a beneficiary of all of her efforts and all of her organizing and all of her struggles and making sure that Chicanos and Chicanos were represented not only at the college level but the city level and the county level. I loved her, and then now I live in the same neighborhood as Sofia was living. So we go to the same Mi Pueblo Mercado, Sunday afternoons, that should be there, buying vegetables, I'm buying vegetables. We talk a little bit about what's happening in the community, and she'd all, often tell me about some, ish, some meeting, and I gotta, I gotta go. So I began to go to Mi Pueblo with my calendar <laughs> and my address book. <laughs> so, of course, when I heard that she had passed, I realized this is the grand Dama of community organizing social justice in San Jose, and she will always be in our hearts. Sophia held her family firmly in our heart. Her every action was dictated by her love for her children and all children and her organic bond with her beloved Eastside community. She fought fiercely for dignified and fair treatment by the police, for quality and equality in education. And whenever there was an anti-war demonstration, she was there. Sophia was a full-hearted, peaceful warrior for social justice. She had one word to fit every problem in the schools, every problem in the community, in the face of any authority, and in the world at large. The word was organize. She struck me so much as somebody who was a champion. Uh, I like sports a lot, and she always reminds me of a, a real champion who's humble about their gifts. And never says I, it always says us, the team, things of that nature. She was always that way. More than anything, she cared about her community, and she cared about what happened, and she was a fighter for equal 
justice. She was a fighter for peace. She was a fighter for uh, anybody who um, was not represented. And so as a result of her struggle, we have a, a city council that's representative of, of uh, people that include the east side. And um, we have uh, changes in the educational system. And we have a medical clinic that she brought here to the east side. So we are all appreciative of Sophie and the life and the legacy that she leaves behind. Three words to describe uh, Sophia, I would say it would be perhaps rare, um, because it's rare that people are involved in social justice, economic justice issues for so long in their lives, even up to the end of their lives. Um, I myself have been involved for f over 40 years, and I know how hard it is. You know, it's very, very difficult. You know, so I would say rare, um, exceptional, because of the 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 aptitude and the things that you need to be an effective organizer. Um, and to be so successful at it for so many years, uh, to me, are truly exceptional. And I think she um, embodied that. And I would just say the third one, perhaps beautiful, because I think all of those, uh, those characteristics, all those things that she possessed in herself made her a very beautiful woman. It is really a legacy uh, that is Sophia's, but it is a legacy we all share now. It is a legacy we have to honor and to continue to sustain. And I suspect what she'd be telling us in her matter-of-fact way is that it's up to us now. So with that, we have a lot of work to do. Uh, I look forward to doing that work with each of you. But I am grateful to be here to honor Sophia's memory and her legacy with all of you. Thank you. Change isn't easy, we all know that. Change does not come without moving forces like Sophie Mendoza. She was not just somebody who was extreme or militant, she was somebody who made a tremendous difference in this county, a tremendous positive difference in this county. The memory of Sophie, who always had a smile for those that she cared about, a frown for those things that she questioned and wasn't too sure about, and a, and a righteous anger and energy to correct things that needed to be corrected. And so we, among ourselves, count ourselves her friend, and we will always remember her legacy and her expectation of us on a daily basis. Muchas gracias. She is a fighter, uh, a guerrera, uh, and, and an eloquent speaker, uh, I would have to say. She always had the right words to, to demand for a community. Sophia was a smiling, loving, peaceful, and fearless warrior for what she believed in for us all. Sophia Mendoza's heart was filled with Family, community, equality, justice, courage, and love. It flowed in her arteries and veins to every cell of her body and brain. She was the mother eagle of our nest, peopled with all kinds and colors, the young, the old, for sure the poor, and for those without hope, she'd give her very best. She taught us peacefully to fight to never be fearful, to take claim to what is ours, and to join other people's struggles. She organized, she marched, she never backed down, she took on the cops, she forever changed this town. She was mother to her kids and grew them up strong as part of the people to which they belong. When community cried out, Sophia always answered the call. She was mother of love, mother of equality, mother of justice, mother courage to us all. And I'm so very proud and happy that I canvassed that King Road East Side Precinct just a few hundred yards from here so many years ago. 
just getting my shoes dusted. Thank you.